All right, so you're going to mess with an image. Uh, basically, remove an image from a background. Like, a, you know, like if you take a snapshot and there's like a ball or a piece of trash or maybe like a dog or something in the background of your image, you can, uh, there's a few different ways of getting rid of it. Um, one of the easiest ways that I found is to use a plugin in the uh, in GIMP called the GIMP, or oh, is that right? Here it is, Resynthesizer, right? It's a really useful plugin. Um, I highly recommend it. You know, it's, it's really good for, for medium to small images. You could, uh, remove a, a, a big image but then you're gonna have to do a lot of manipulation you know like um, you know, like blending and stuff like that so today I'm gonna be doing that I'm gonna be removing a, a small portion of an image from this little snapshot right it's uh where's it at here they are these little lawn chairs and uh looks like a cooler and a table so I'm gonna try my best to get rid of those and uh so let's get started so anyways that GIMP resynthesizer, it should be in your repos. If it's not there, um, go ahead and install the web update PPA. I'll put a link to it. Uh, web update does a really good job of keeping GIMP up to date with uh, the plugin registry and along with other plugins as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and zoom into this and uh, let's grab the lasso tool. And we're gonna go ahead and just outline a portion of the of the uh, selection. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna select the whole you know everything we're just going to select a like a couple chairs at a time basically all right all the way around and there we go now go to filters map resynthesize press ok and there's also some tweaks in there if you need to do it um, usually the default is fine takes a couple seconds should go a little bit quick there it goes that looks all right it pulled some of the rock down to cover up what was there um, this is where the blending and stuff comes in so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, finish the rest of the of the, uh, the images so go to select none and let's go ahead and select this and the blotch that it left behind Alright, filters, it's going to repeat resynthesize. You don't have to go to map resynthesize all the time. If you can be repeating the same thing, just go ahead and uh, you know, go there or hold, uh, I mean, sorry, press uh, control F. Alright, now select none. Let's go ahead and select this portion over here. table there we go hit enter filters repeat and then we're going to do the last section in just a bit all right select none oops that's fine All right, enter and repeat. Now, like I said, it depends on the image you're working with. If it's something simple, you shouldn't have to blend too much. Um, something like this, you're probably gonna have to do some copy and pasting and blending and, and things like that. As you can see, the, the rocks and sand don't look too, too consistent, right? It's not that bad, but you can, you can improve on it. So let's go ahead and select none. So what I'm going to do is, uh, like this area looks really flat, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this area. I'm going to copy the crack and kind of move it along, right? So let's go ahead and use our lasso select, select tool again. Grab this little area, like so. All right. Now Control-C, Control-V. All right. So basically I copied that little section and I, and I pasted it. So now we're going to make that pasted area into an actual layer that we can actually move around and uh, manipulate. So to do that, go on this, this little the layer dialog. I'm sorry. On the bottom left, just click on this little button. Now that pasted layer is actually a layer. Now we can actually move it around. 
All right. How's that look? Looks a little bit better. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, copy and paste that again. So I'm just gonna paste it basically. So Control V. Make it again. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oops. Control C. Select the Move tool. Let's move this one out of the way. All right. Pasted layer. Let me uncheck that one. This one. There we go. So that's going to be my back. That's going to be an extra layer for me to mess with it in case I need it. But anyways, let's go ahead and merge this down. All right. Right click, merge down. All right. Now let's get our, our uh, blend tool here. I mean, our heal tool. And we're going to select the selection to, to grab, right? But uh, usually when you use your your, uh, your heel tool, depending on their brush brush size, it's going to affect the image, right, the pixels. So you might want to lower it down just a bit so you won't overdo it. So let's sample from up here. And go ahead and just bring that area down just a bit, like so. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Kind of takes care of this flat section down here. Let's go grab some grab some uh, sand and push it up just a bit. There we go. There we go. All right, now I still have this backup layer just in case I need to make another you know another crack. So I'm just gonna just leave that there for now. Let's go ahead and copy some sand. Let's uh, get our lasso tool again. And I should get some sand from maybe over here. Let's grab this area. Right about here. All right. Control C, Control V. Pasted it. Now make it to a layer. Let's grab the move tool. Let's move it over here. About right there there we go all right now right click on that top layer and then merge it down and it's going to grab our heel tool again and sample some some uh, sand and it's going to blend it in just a little bit more there we go so the sand can look a little bit more consistent I suppose there we go it's getting better so just you know pretty much um, it's really, you gotta just take your time with it. Sample certain sections, you know what I mean? Just to make it look just right. Um, it's looking pretty good so far. This little area looks a little bad. So let's grab some rock, I guess, and uh, the lasso tool. Let's grab uh, this area right there. All right, enter. All right, Control C, Control V. Make it to a layer. Let's grab the move tool. Control Z. Grab the wrong one. There we go. Let's move it down just a bit like this. There we go. That looks better. Now right click, merge down. Grab the heel tool again. Sample another section and just blend it in. This section looks pretty bad too, so let's grab some more rock. All right, Control C, Control V, make it to a layer, move tool, move this down just a little bit more, right about there. All right, right click, merge down, and go ahead and blend it again, sample layer. Just a little bit. That's too much. Let's shrink down the uh, the uh, brush. It was too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the video right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this area in. You know, fix that a little bit. You know, probably sample some areas from here to pull it over there, and I'll be back in a little bit. 
okay so I'm pretty much done right and I just did the same process over and over you know copy you know uh, select an area copy it paste it in move it around you know and and blend it with the with the heel tool uh, you could use the clone tool if you wanted to but I really don't like doing that if I have better luck with the other way basically because you can actually rotate the image or stretch it out but um but I actually I didn't do any of that today so pretty much just got some rocks from over here moved it over I uh, moved the the crack along a little bit further and I sampled some sand as well um, anyways oh I'm sorry let me go ahead and save it file save as there it is save export and yeah that's fine let me minimize it alright so here's the the before picture there's a little uh, lawn chairs and stuff and there should be the after and they're gone so that's before after and before and after so yeah so anyways just take your time with it um, if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, I'll see you guys later